Hey everyone, today we will talk about tularemia. Tularemia, also known as rabbit fever or deer fly fever, is a rare infectious disease caused by the bacterium called Francisella tularensis. This bacterium is highly infectious and can be transmitted to humans through various means, including bites from infected insects, direct contact with infected animals, inhalation of contaminated aerosols, and ingestion of contaminated water or food. It's the causative agent of tularemia. As we said earlier, there are several subspecies of this bacterium, each associated with different animals in geographical regions. Humans can contract tularemia through the following means. One of the ways we can get the tularemia is arthropod bites. Tick bites are common mode of transmission, but other arthropods like deer flies and mosquitoes can also transmit the bacteria. Contact with infected animals, for example, handling or consuming contaminated animals, especially rabbits and rodents, can lead to infection. Domestic animals and pets can also carry the bacteria. Inhalation of contaminated dust or aerosols, particularly in areas where the bacteria are present in the environment. Contaminated water or food also can cause it. Drinking water or eating food contaminated the bacteria can lead the infection. The symptoms of tularemia can vary depending on the route of exposure. Here you can see glandular type of tularemia. There are several forms, including ulceroglandular, glandular, oculoglandular, oropharyngeal, pneumonic, and typhoidal. And common symptoms you can see with tularemia are fever and chills, headache, muscle aches, joint pain, fatigue, swollen and painful lymph nodes, skin ulcers or lesions at the site of infection. If it's transmitted through a cut or bite, you can see this. Sore throat and difficulty swallowing. This is in oropharyngeal form. Cough, chest pain and difficulty breathing, which we can see in pneumonic form. The treatment that we usually do is with antibiotics. The choice of antibiotic and duration of treatment depend on the specific form and the patient's overall health. Commonly used antibiotics include streptomycin, gentamicin, doxycycline, and ciprofloxacin. It's essential to seek medical attention promptly if tularemia is suspected, as early treatment can be more effective. Additionally, preventive measures like avoiding contact with sick or dead animals, using insect repellent to prevent insect bites, and practicing good hygiene can help reduce the risk of infection. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends. And don't forget to watch our other videos like folliculitis, pharyngeal, how to detox pancreas fast. See you on the next one.